I had a massive aha moment today when thinking about why people fight and I put it together in a chart and I want to share it with you. So hang on. Okay, so I'm lacking a whiteboard. So I started to chart it out and let me walk you through it. So when we start fighting, it's because one partner feels triggered. So if you want to understand why you're fighting, think about what, what triggered you, what happened. Then come over here. So what happened? What did you think? What did you feel? What did you do or say then? The action that you take at this point is usually intended to increase your comfort or safety, but it often triggers partner number two. So we come over here. All right, partner number two is now triggered also. What do they say or do? And then partner number two can think about why did you, you know, what did you think or feel or say? Do this whole analysis too. All right, so we come back. Partner number two is going to say or do something. Partner number one, how did this response affect you? It's probably going to trigger you worse. I'll talk about ice cubes a little bit later. All right, so now you're really, really triggered. So if you respond when you're triggered, the fight will absolutely continue. So here's what I want you to do instead. The first thing is, what do you need or crave to respond differently? Can you think of anything? Then how can you ask for this? All right. Another train of thought is, what can you do to soothe yourself and calm down on your own? Could you take a break? Could you go for a walk? Could you think soothing thoughts to yourself? What can you do? And then I also want you to challenge your negative thoughts. A great way to do this is to do something called the work. More on that in a minute. I also want you to try to increase compassion for your partner. Think about why they might be saying what they're doing, what past hurts or injuries they have that make them do what they're doing. Because, back to our big circle of keeping the fight going, if you do not stop and soothe, you will get re-triggered and the fight will go on and on and on. And then you end up in this lovely death spiral. Very sad. So we want to break out of that so we don't keep going around. Gotta love that camera work there. All right, now, Another thing to do is to think about your own triggers. Why did this trigger you? How is this connected to your past history or a trauma? How did you cope then? Could you use that same coping strategy now? And also ask, did this touch on a deep, painful core belief for you? Because ultimately, we want to break out of this cycle, right? We don't want to keep fighting. So take a minute. Play with this chart. See if it helps you chart your last fight and understand some new things and see if you can have some aha moments. And I'll talk about ice cubes soon, I promise.